satellite, gentlemen, and everything is a o What's that up in the sky, Archie Kims? Looks like a shooting star to me. What would you say, Reggie? Maybe Jughead launched his rocket before we could get a chance to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it appears our missile must have come down somewhere within Riverdale, gentlemen. We must send our search parties at once. Say, that's quite a rocket, Jug. You've got to be kidding. Kidding, huh? Just wait until I launch this beaut towards its destination. What's its destination, the junkyard? <laughs> its destination, wise apple, is the moon. Phooey. This can couldn't get off the ground. <laughs> Come on in and look around, gang. Hey, look, Mom. There's the missile. Right, Lou. I'll send for the recovery crane. You sure have all the comforts of home, Jughead. Even an ice box loaded with hamburgers. What's this desk with all the ropes, levers, and lights, Juggy? Don't touch anything, girls. That's the control panel. <laughs> It's true. We're pulling away from the Earth. I want to go home. I can't bear to watch. <laughs> Keep cool, gang. We're becoming weightless. I'm starting to float. <laughs> Grab on to something and hang on. Our orders are to dump this old rocket over into the moon markup area. Yeah? Will they test the astronauts to moon conditions? We've landed! Hooray! Where are we? Home, I hope. <laughs> what is it, Reg? What's up? Hey! We made it! We're on, on the moon! Goodness me! Dig those holes! Craters, Jughead. Yeah! Man, this is way out! I... I want to go home. Hey, take me home right this minute, Jughead. Really, Reggie? This is an honor. Yeah, we're the first kids on the moon. I don't care. I'm scared. Okay, so you're the first coward on the moon. I wonder if we're really on the moon, Jug. There's only one way to find out. Hey, it works. It works. Yep. There's less gravity on the moon, all right. This is neat, eh, girls? Groovy. A little almost. How can everyone be so happy? This is serious. You can all go ahead and pretend to enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna stay here and cry. <laughs> Come on, Reggie. Who knows what we could discover up here? <gasps> hey, what gives? Golly, we appear to have fallen under the surface of the moon. It's as if we were under a three-ring circus tent. It certainly is. Hmm. I've heard of one ring around the moon, but not three. Hey, Dodge. 
I wonder what these pull chains operate. You know, I'm beginning to figure this all out. And if I can see what these things are for. <laughs> they sure make these test rounds real, hey, Bob? Yep. Hal, this sponge rubber gives a real bounce. There's supposed to be some surprise creatures jump out at us somewhere around here. Yes! Moon Man, help, Archie! What kind of a weird creature was that? It almost looked human. <laughs> Somebody's running around up there. It must be Reggie. Yeah. He doesn't know we figured this out to be some kind of a movie set or something. But how do you suppose we got here, Archie? That I haven't figured out. So that's Reggie up there, huh? <laughs> More frightening all the time. <laughs> Boy, now that one looked real. Oh no! Now the moon men are after me. <laughs> I got a feeling there's more than one Reggie up there. Hey, look, gang. Here's the way out. Come on. You mean you kids were in that old rocket that we put on the testing ground? Oh, that's right, sir. You see... Uh... Yeah, I built the rocket in my backyard. That explains our finding two rockets. Uh, one of our group is still out there in the test grounds. Not anymore. When we caught up with him, he fainted. <laughs> It's sure nice of the Spice Santa to take Juggy's rocket back, isn't it, Archie Kims? Yeah. I wonder how Jughead and Reggie are doing in the rocket. Reggie was still passed out when we left. Atta boy, hot dog, he's coming too. Huh. Where are we? On our way home, Reg. We are? The Earth? It's, <laughs> it's getting closer. You saved me, Juggy. We're buddies for life. But, but... I'll never doubt you again. You can build rockets that'll go anywhere. When we get back on Earth, I'll treat you to a million hamburgers. You will? <laughs> I kind of thought you'd punch me on the nose. Well, I see you're okay now, Reg. Thanks to my genius buddy, Jughead. Oh, I bet you say that to all the geniuses. Gee, you mean you're not sore about that? <laughs> Leave us leave well enough alone, huh, Arch? <laughs> uh, now, about those uh, million hamburgers, Reg. Lead on, buddy. Something tells me Jughead hasn't explained everything to Reggie yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jughead may not be able to get a rocket to go to the moon. But he sure knows his way to Pop's Chocolate Shop, eh? <laughs> <laughs> a few moments, the gang and I will show you another brand new groovy dance step that you can all watch and learn. So, don't go away. And now, a brand new dance to watch and learn. The Angel! The beat is very fast for a dance called the Angel and that makes it very hard to do. Cause you gotta keep your hands together like you're praying no matter what your feet may do. Until the whole dance is through Now see if you can do it too We've learned a new dance Now let's dance it to a brand new song Dreaming when I look into your eyes 
dog. Hey, like wow! Lady Luck has smiled on us. Like we'll be famous. <laughs> Heroes even. Stop that truck! Um, I believe you dropped this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Reggie, Jughead, and I are gonna take jobs as caddies out at Mr. Lodge's Country Club. Golf anywhere? Huh? Uh, thanks for getting us the jobs, Veronica. It's quite all right, boys. The least a girl can do for her boyfriends is help them make some spending money. Sure, and then help them spend it. <laughs> Caddy, please. Right here, sir. <laughs> Three caddies for the price of one? I didn't know I operated a cut-rate country club. One caddy will do, fellas. Take your choice, Mr. Lodge. Hmm, some choice. My mother says to pick you. Hmm, Archie Andrew. I'll get a golf cart and be right with you, Mr. Lodge. All set to go, Mr. Lodge. Daddy will be right here, Archie. He's signing in. When Arch and Mr. Lodge leave, I'll offer Veronica some private golf lessons. Veronica and I are going to ride along, Archie. Huh? Hey, this is my lucky day. This is my lucky day. Ha! <laughs> well, old Reg is just going to fix that. Exchanging some of these clubs of Mr. Lodge's with trick clubs and a few trick balls should change Archie's luck a bit. And I'll take over as Mr. Lodge's caddy and chauffeur Veronica around the course. <laughs> All aboard! Hey, Archie! One minor detail. Where are my golf clubs? Huh? Here they are, Mr. Lodge. Uh, thank you, Reggie. A good caddy never forgets the clubs, Archie. Ah. Thanks, Reg. Just yell if you want a new caddy, Mr. Lodge. Huh. A ball fell out of Mr. Lodge's bag. <laughs> Number one driver, Archie. Please. Yes, sir. Good luck, Daddy. Hit a home run, Mr. Lodge. Hmm, uh, uh, thank you, girls. Now, uh, left arm straight, eyes on the ball. Relax. Must allow for the dew on the grass. Huh? Archie Andrews! How do you account for this? Uh, golly, I, I don't know, Mr. Lodge. Well, maybe it got wet and shrunk, Mr. Lodge. <laughs> Will you get that thing running, Jughead? I'm trying, Reg. I want to be there when Mr. Lodge asks for a new caddy. Can I help it if golf carts aren't my cup of tea? Tea. Golf cart. You get it? Considering my five iron turned into an umbrella, how can I miss? Archie, what have you done to my clothes? Uh, nothing, Mr. Lodge. Honest, nothing. A little faster, Red. <laughs> okay, okay, throw it in gear, Chuckhead. Okay, Reg, stand by. It's running, Reg. It's running. Hop in! Hey, Reg! Where are ya? Oh. Oh, there you are. Well, what are you lying there for? I thought you were in a hurry. Don't, young man. I'll pick out my own clubs with your shot. <laughs> this club seems sound enough. <laughs> Let me see now. 
Veronica, Betty, please, things are biting a little. Wow, that was a Lulu, Mr. Lodge. At last, success. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jughead, won't this thing go any faster? I'm flooring it now, Reg. Whoop. Hey, Chuck! Whoa! Fast is fast, but this is ridiculous! How's a person supposed to get the ball out of these teeny cups? Hey! No way! Thanks. <laughs> Watch where you're going, Jughead. Okay, but you'll have to spread your fingers a little. <laughs> you're heading for the clubhouse. <laughs> Must be a golfer from Texas. Mr. Lodge. Thank you, Archie. Beautiful, Mr. Lodge. What? That was beautiful, Daddy. Archie Andrews. Now, now, Mr. Lodge. Thanks, Reg. Say. How's about just walking out to join the rest, huh? Forget it. They probably played all 18 holes by now. Archie Andrews, if you think I'm not aware that you put trick clubs and balls into my bag, you are mistaken. But, but, please, Mr. Lodge, I, I added up your scorecard, Daddy. Thank you, dear. No, oh, just look at this. On a par 75 course, I shoot a 200. Just a minute, Daddy. Don't you usually shoot a 250? That's right. By Jove! <laughs> I've cut my score down by 50 strokes. Archie, you're wonderful. I am. Those trick clubs and balls improved my game. Wait a minute, Mr. Lodge. I put those into your bag. You did, Reggie? I'm sure glad Reggie spoke up when he did. Yeah, or you would be in Reggie's place right now. Yeah, caddying for Mr. Lodge on another round of 18 holes a go. <laughs> Everything's Archie. Archie's here. Betty's here. Veronica, too. Reggie's here. Hey, Jughead, where are you? We want to dance and we want to sing. Have some fun and we're adventuring. All our friends are here, but it ain't complete. We ain't the Archies without the Jughead B. Whoa, Archie's here. Veronica too, Reggie's here And here comes Jughead and Hot Dog too So everybody 